On average, it takes developers about two and a half years to get their projects fully approved in San Francisco. And then they're up against some of the highest construction costs in the state. That's according to the California Department of Housing and Community Development, or HCD, which now is demanding answers. And I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. And the bad and the ugly are just the, the really chaotic, arbitrary, sometimes lawless approach that San Francisco takes to housing. State Senator Scott Weiner, a former member the of the San Francisco things. Board of Supervisors and housing well, advocate, hopefully. believes the state investigation will force San Francisco to allow more homes in residential areas, approve projects faster, and cut the red tape for larger projects. Because San Francisco puts so many requirements and extracts so many concessions in approving those projects uh, that they become financially infeasible. San Francisco Supervisor Matt Dorsey welcomes the state investigation, tweeting, San Francisco must make significant changes, 30 plus, to the way to review, approve, permit, and build new housing. We must continue to find funding sources for subsidized affordable housing. I reached out to other supervisors after hours. I didn't hear back. The state is calling for 82,000 new homes in the city by 2030. The Council of Community Housing Organizations wants to make sure any housing plan does three things. We think the state should be paying more attention towards um, what we think of as the three P's, um, protecting tenants where they are now, preserving at-risk existing housing, and producing new affordable housing. Senator Weiner is hoping this investigation is enough to motivate city leaders to change the way they do housing, but if it doesn't work, he's not going to rule out a lawsuit from the state attorney general. On Treasure Island, Terry McSweeney, NBC Bay Area News.